this man who has the gun to his head and he's he's despair. Now it doesn't saying <laughs> Welcome back, you guys, to my channel. And today I have my dear friend Richard Lil with me to read in my future. Thank you for coming back, Mr. Lil. <laughs> you You're doing? welcome, my dear. You're welcome. And how's, how's your trip been? You're good. Uh, my trip has been good. I am moving. I moved cross country from California to New York, so just about as far as one could go on the on this continent. <laughs> It's been a fun adventure, I guess. It's an adventure. There's been some fun too, but it's it's been an adventure for certain. <laughs> Today he's back and he's gonna read my future, and it'll be a two part. He'll the first part will be here, and then we'll stop midway, and then on the second part he'll have the other part of the video. I hope it's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if anybody cares about my future, but I thought it was different. So on um, the first question that I had was... Um... Before we do that, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to read the future, I'm going to, to read probabilities. Okay. So the future is not yet written. You are the director of your movie. The simple act of knowing something can change the outcome. So for instance, if I were to tell you, you're going to go outside, a bird is going to mess on your head, you would either go out the back way, or you would wear a covering, or you wouldn't go out at all. So you would in fact change the way that that is. And the case in point is that I had someone come to me and ask about romance. And I told them, this person is going to come into your life. It looks like it's going to head to marriage. Well, the problem was that then the person told oh, no. where I'm going to marry you. So oh, oh, no, if, if I would know that was the silent part. <laughs> <Yeah. the> <laughs> I think I'm gonna hit on that real quick. I think a lot of people don't realize that. My mom used to tell me about that with a good dream, at least. Like, if you see something and it's a good dream, don't say it because it might not happen. And I because then it, it, what happens is that we, when we are accomplishing things and we say that we're accomplishing things, it releases those endorphins in our head, and it it, it says. Um, oh, I've already done it, so I can just rest on my laurels. That, and then the other problem is that other people can get a little bit jealous, and their energies go into the cosmos, and then combined with the fact that your endorphins are already released, then it doesn't happen. So don't say it. Wait until it happens. Um, create little things, and then say, I did that. So that's, I won't read your future. I'm just reading probabilities from this point. Okay. Now, uh, the first thing I'm going to do before we go into that is I am going to clear the energies off of the cards. I feel like it is very important since I deal with a lot of people and a lot of different um, ideas and a lot of different thoughts. So this will just help to bring the cards to your energy so that we can talk about you and your possibilities. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just shuffled it a couple of times. I'm going to I'm going to blow on it, and what I do this is this is how I cleanse my cards. So I will blow on it in reverse, and imagine a black flame going around it, and I do it three times into the nose, out through the mouth. And I'm going to then shuffle it three times. Now, this is the part where you and I will be working together to manifest you, to bring your essence back into the cards. So what I need you to do is uncross your legs. It's the hardest part of the whole thing. Sit up nice and tall. Make certain that your spinal column is nice and straight. And then we're going to do three breaths into the nose, out through the mouth together. This time I'm going to go clockwise. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go.
Now, as I shuffle, when you feel the energies, tell me when to stop shuffling. Okay, now you had the first question. The first question was based on career. I wrote, what do you see for me career-wise or what's the best career choice for me? Career, all right. Hmm. Um, so what I'm getting out of this one is, it's so funny. Um, what I see for you is, in it, it, it is working with people. It is almost even uh, in counseling, things that were separated, bringing together. So it can be marriage counseling. It can be even um, helping people who have, have been initiated into cults and they trying to break away from that. It can be um, helping, but, but there is a lot of, um, there is a lot of communication. There is a lot of bringing things back together. Uh, bringing hope to people too. Uh, so where there is, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, of anxiety and a lot of pain, the people will oftentimes feel hopeless. And then you give them that little amount of, of peace, that assurance that they need. Um, the next thing is that it will, it helps you to break the keys of, of prison, break the bonds of prison. So people who are struggling, and feeling trapped, you're bringing them hope, you're bringing them joy. It, it, it does look like there's some amount of counseling. So whether it be, you know, whether it be going to school and, and, and getting a degree or whether it be one-on-one -on -one personal life coach counseling, but there's, it, I am seeing counsel, 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 bringing things together. Does it make sense to you? Mm -hmm. It does. That does make sense. <laughs> Hence why I'm on the, I need to try to connect with people because I can't do anything right now. Exactly. Well, uh, you're you're on the right track. That's good things for you. Um, you be the be the magician that you are. This is the peacock card that comes up. So it is. If if that is what you want, say it. Make it so. Create it. You are you are a creator. You, you have the energy of the universe in you. So create it, let, it, let, it, let that manifest if that is what you desire. Write it down so that it becomes, it, it becomes your spirit board. It becomes your, your vision board, something that you can tangibly see every single day. <laughs> What's your next question, my darling? The next one was, and this is silly, but I thought I threw it in. Finance, will I be rich? Or will I have to be rich? Well, I, I, I don't even have to lay the cards out for this one. I'm <laughs> going to tell you um, that is incredibly vague for the universe um, because it, it's subjective. Will I be rich? What is rich to you? What is successful to you? Um, some people who would seem to be really incredibly wealthy are in fact broke, um, so, but they, they still see themselves as successful. So um, in, in that one, will I be wealthy? It is possible. I do see that you are, uh, you are working towards some goals and you're, you're going to be comfortable. You're going, you're, things are going to start settling this coming this year, this year, the next three years, things are going to start falling in place for you. Uh, you will be successful. Will you be wealthy? That depends upon wealth. If you want to be a multi-billionaire, I can tell you, no, you won't be. Will you be a millionaire? Possibly. Will you, will you have your bills paid and have thousands in the bank? Absolutely. That makes me feel good. Thank you. <laughs> that means keep pushing, Maria. <laughs> okay. And then, um, which part is, because there's half of it is on the other side of the video. So I'll just, so I think this is the other part that will be on his video if you want to watch. If not, I'll split it. <laughs> but the third question was love and relationship. Will I grow old with my loving husband? Uh, 
The, the short answer is yes. It's the short answer. Um, the good thing that you have going is that you and he are friends. Mm -hmm. Not everyone who is in a relationship is friends with their significant other. And that, in and of itself, helps you to get beyond any sort of amount of um, any bumps in the road. Because you can, you can fight, you can argue, you can have a difference of opinion, but then you don't say anything to the other person that is malicious or harsh. It is because this is the way that I see things, and I don't understand why you don't see this. And then he'll go, well, but I understand what you mean, but I don't understand what you mean. But then you, you go, you, you separate for a little while and then you come back together and your things work out. Um, will I grow old with him? It is showing there is, there is some, there is, the old woman card comes up so that to me, it feels like, will I grow old? Yes. Um, uh, you you shall be together. That's what I see here. But it is it is telling me not only are you friends, but you have to actively seek that. So if if in relationship, if that is what you desire, then you have to actively work on it. Because if it isn't working for you, then it isn't working for you. I have I have friends that have been married for fifty years, and they are each other's best friends. Mm -hmm. I also have friends that have never been married. I have friends who have been married several times. I have friends who, are, who will be perpetually single. The point is with this, yes, it looks like from here, there, there will be growing together. Growing old together, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Because may you never grow old. Okay. I like how you put that. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I resonate. <laughs> That's pretty how you put that. It is true. We've been, I think it's been, we met as friends. It's so funny that you say that. And then we fell in love. <laughs> yeah, well, and that's the thing is that you are lucky to have your best friend. Yeah. Someone who cares for you, someone who loves you, someone that you love in return, someone who wishes you the best, someone that feels like you are good for them and to them. It's a beautiful, splendid, wonderful, delightful, delicious, charming thing. And yes, right now, from this perspective, it looks like the two of you will be going on your journey together. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that makes me so good. All right. And then, um, did I only put three questions? I think I only put thinking it'd be like really long. <laughs> Well, I mean, we can do more. The thing is, that's when, when people have specific questions they ask, then it has a tendency to go, this is exactly what it means. Now, if you want, I can lay things out on the, on, 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 the, on, the, on the table and see what the universe has to say to you. Because sometimes there are things that we can't think of. On the other hand, it can get rather personal, as you well know. That's fine. If anything too personal comes out, that's why I'm glad I, I pre-recorded. It's not live or anything. <laughs> right. Think. Okay. Because I wanted to make certain that that you you are aware. So we'll just do now. We'll we'll just do see what the universe has to say to Maria Diaz. What things maybe are on your mind? What things can we work towards? What things are against you? What things can can work for you? We'll work on that now. Let's lay them out. All right. So uh, the first three cards I lay out, it is the distant past, the present, and the future. Uh, again, you are the director of your movie. So things that I have laid out here, um, you can change it. You, are, you, are, you have free will. You can change anything if you don't like it. Uh, uh, and again, if something doesn't resonate with you, if, if it isn't, you, we can move on to something else. We can, we can, you can make your future. You are a very powerful being. We are all powerful beings in our own way. So that's what I want to tell you first and foremost, because you've been going through quite a bit as of late. Part of it is because of what has kept us indoors for almost a year. The same thing that has affected all of our finances for a year. Part of it is the lack of, the lack of human connection. So there's a lot of things at play. Um, however, those things, 
you know, those, those are there, but this is what you're going through. In the distant past, things were going along really smoothly and it feels like there, there was a sudden change. So what comes up is consistency. So before it was, you could rely on this amount and you could rely on that amount and you, could, you knew on Mondays I do this, on Wednesdays I do this, and this is sort of my life and this is, and now it's, whoa, okay. <laughs> 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 um, you are going through a lot of changes. Change is painful. It is, um, it's sort of like when a child is growing. You're a mother. When, when a child grows and, and their teeth are coming in, they hurt and they cry because it really, really hurts. And their, their, their muscles are being stretched and their bones are growing and it hurts and it, when a baby is learning to walk they fall down and they hit their heads and it hurts so change oftentimes is painful it reminds me in hinduism the goddess kale ama she is the goddess of creation and destruction you can't create something new until the old way is destroyed that's where we are right now you're in the in the middle of all of this chaos and all of this change but it is settling things are falling it is warning you however well i'll show you the, the change card it's the death card so it's change pardon my paint on my fingers i've been mm -hmm. i've been working here in the house um so you're going through a lot of change the major thing to, the major warning, the major thing to, um, to you to sort of redirect your attention is despair. It's not just um, the card that comes up, it shows this man who has the gun to his head and he's, he's despair. Now it doesn't saying that you are thinking about death, it is thinking about desperate situations. Oh my God. Did that, uh, did that resonate a little? Okay, so I had a dream. I am a little psychic. I'll just laugh. You are. Because it feels weird to say it. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have, like, a, like, I don't publicly go and say, I am psychic. Hey, um, I had a dream, and it really messed, it really fucked me up. I just had to say it like that. Because it, it was almost to the point, like, it was traumatic. Because um, the dream, um, back in Milwaukee again, and I, I grew up in a haunted apartment, but it's not me. It's like a couple, and they look Mexican, and they're arguing, and they're running back and forth in the apartment I was with my family. Mm -hmm. And she goes to the bathroom, she comes out, she's arguing, he comes back. For some reason, my mom, my dad, my brother are on the couch. And I'm seeing this, but it's not me. Mm -hmm. I still arguing with her. Oh, yeah. Paula. I'm this, this, this. Boom. Like, I'm seeing that in the dream. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I don't want to see that. And I turn around and I try to run as this other person, but it's not me. That's the only way I can explain it. I understand. I run, run, run. And I go up the roof. And it's like police are chasing after the person. So he didn't really he either did it or not and i woke that messed me up for a cup like i'm still processing that one dream so that's that, uh, that, crazy that you pulled that card out like well it's what that is showing is i do feel that you you had witnessed this event um you had witnessed it in the mind in the eye through the eyes of one of those children um i i feel like what you saw was I feel like what you saw was, in fact, um, his, he, he was, he was not a very kind person and he had, it, dreams are funny because it'll take a little bit from here and a little bit from here and it'll shake it all together. So what you're actually seeing is it was in reverse. So the, he, he was, he was being chased from the police and that's why he's fighting with the woman who is saying, no, you've got to turn yourself in. You have, you can't do this. You have to turn yourself in. He goes, oh yeah, watch this. That's, that's because oftentimes we think of dreams as being sort of this way, but it's actually that way. Uh-huh. Yeah, I get you. Okay. Yep. 
So uh, as far as that goes, that's what you saw. I do think it was back in your in your hometown, back in, in, in that house or, or one neighboring. It feels like it might be two or three houses down, but it, it was your neighborhood for certain. Um, so that's what I'm getting from there. But it is telling you, um, it is telling you And that was it. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a lovely day and please like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, bye.